with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. In radiology, your skills got to be tip top. Each one of us is a specialist, such as an x ray tech, mammographer, sonographer, CT, MRI, or IR technologist. At x ray you'll find a variety of mugs, tumblers, shirts, hoodies with unique and creative designs empowering inspiring and connecting us all in radiology visit them at xrayishstylesco.com to see all of the products today and follow them on facebook and instagram use code mri man to save 10 percent at checkout hit the link in the description yo what's up the mri man store is open go check it out the link is in the description what's up it's kwami aka mri man and we're back again um, this video is about why you shouldn't go to school for radiology. Um, some examples of some traits. If you have these traits, maybe it's not for you. This is just my opinion um, from what I've seen. And I got this question from a subscriber. So, you know, if you ever have any questions, leave them down below or hit me up on Instagram. And who knows, man, I might get to one of your questions. My number one reason for you not to get into radiology is if your parents pay for your school and they're like, do something, we'll pay for it. And you're like, huh, I'll do it. I guess so, because they're paying for it. Don't do that. I've seen some texts, you know, that have done that. Their parents paid for it. Their grandma, grandma paid for their school and they just did it just because they paid for them. And they get in, they don't like it. They're miserable. They wasted their parents' money, and now they are just doing some random job. Number two, the schooling is convenient. Um, you know, maybe the school's schedule just works out. It's every Saturday. You're like, yeah, I'll do that. That's, that's convenient for me. It works out. That's the wrong reason to do that. Do some more research and make sure it's right for you. Don't just do it because it's an easy way. It's an easy ticket. Number three, for the money. I hear this all the time people are like yeah i'm gonna get into radiology i'm gonna do mri ct and i'm gonna make bank i'm gonna do it for the money i want this and that all the money's there I can... no if you're going in it for the money completely wrong reason to do them even if you're getting paid a lot you're not gonna like it you're doing it for a check you're gonna be dragging your feet every day and i've seen texts do this man they did it for the money and some of them got the money and they, they still hate the job and that's the wrong reason don't worry about the money um worry about if you're if this is for you and you can watch a bunch of my videos and i i get into depth i show days in the life on you know what it's like to be an mri tech i don't sugarcoat anything so just keep watching my videos ask me for advice but don't do it just for the money number four you can't deal with people being hurt, in pain, or sick. So, you know, you're thinking about MRI, you're like, oh, it's cool, the technology, the images, radiology, the x-ray, the bones, you're like, ah, this is awesome. But you gotta think about what kind of patients you are gonna be getting. Hurt people, severe pain, badly sick, cancer, diseases. You're gonna be seeing this on a daily, and if this kind of stuff is just like emotionally damaging to you and you can't deal with it, you get sad and oh my God, I can't look at that. This is for you, man. It takes a mentally strong person to deal with these kind of people, these kind of patients. Um, so really think about that. You're going to be seeing this stuff and you can't let it get to your head and you got to have a strong realization of you know what life is and we are as you know rad techs we're part of the process of getting the patient better number five you have no patience man i can't tell you how many times where i have you know patients have tested my patience and you got to keep your cool you have to realize that patients will have a whole lot of things going on they're sick they're going through treatment um you know, maybe their mentality isn't all there. They have a cognitive decline. Um, they're slow getting on the table and they're just confused. You have to have a lot of patience, man. So if you're not patient, 
this isn't for you. Um, if you're getting angry that, you know, a 90 year old patient is very slow and doesn't remember what, you know, when their accident was and you're losing it and you're mad, da, 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 you got to have patience to be a rad tech. Believe me. Number six, you're not a good problem solver. I can't tell you how many different problems and different scenarios I'm put in every day. Um, and you got to be able to do that. You can't just shy away from these problems. You got, you know, real bodies coming in here and you got to figure out the right protocols, you know, the right uh, coils to use and, you know, how to position the patient. Be ready to, you know, just be solving problems. It's not the same every day. Number seven, you don't want to continue to learn. As an MRI tech, as a rat tech, being in healthcare, continue education is part of uh, maintaining our license. But myself, you know, I'm always reading articles, keeping up with the technology because, you know, things are changing. Medicine is changing the way we treat people, everything, you know, it's evolving. So to me, that's exciting to some people that are like, man, I want to learn at one time and I don't want to have to keep reading this and that. Well, this might not be for you. Number eight, you're not interested in anatomy and physiology. You don't, you find it boring. You're like, oh, I don't like learning about the digestive tract, cardiac, muscles, tendons, injuries, you know. If that doesn't interest you, I don't see how you can be a rad tech. I don't see how, you know, if, you, if you're not interested in how the body works and functions, how could you be a tech, you know? Number nine, you can't grasp the fact that healthcare is also a business. Yes, we are, we are in it, you know, to take care of these patients and, you know, showing, you know, compassion, but it's a business. It's a number game. You will find out quickly when you work for a hospital, outpatient, it doesn't matter where you, where you work. There's a team of people figuring out how they can make more money and that's what it is. And sometimes you'll be asked to do things that you don't really agree with. And, you know, it's busy and it's slammed. It's a business, okay? Um, that doesn't mean you, you give bad patient care. I'm just telling you. There's a business side to it. And you have to know to play the game. And if you're not for that, and you're like, oh, this is not right, this and that, you're trying to change it. You're not going to change anything. And number 10, I wrote this down. You must be a, a great listener, be able to pay attention to detail, take responsibility, show initiative, show compassion, and just well organized. These are the keys to being a great rad tech. If you don't really have any of these good traits, you probably won't be a great tech. This job probably won't be for you. Um, I, I can explain it to you. Um, great listener on so many levels you have to be listening to your uh your your teammates your co-workers um radiologists you know they're they're explaining you how to do an exam you got to be listening lasered in focused you know a patient telling you their symptoms you got to be lasered focused okay da, 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 writing the symptoms down um paying attention to detail you're looking at anatomy you're doing parameters you're setting up slices on the scans and it's very it's very detailed down to the you know inches millimeters you're, you're doing angles you're setting up for biopsies and there's a lot of detail going on you're looking at image quality um and take responsibility we make mistakes and you can't just be you know throwing people on the table you, you miss this sequence oh this and that you gotta be able to take responsibility and it's tough sometimes um, show initiative. You can't be dragging your feet, not caring. You got to hop on it, man. You know, uh, patients down the hall, hop on it. Go get them. Don't worry about who's going to get them next. Just get them. Do your job. Hustle, hustle. And we can't forget this. Show compassion. Yes, it's a business. It gets busy. But you got to be passionate about this patient. Guess what? If you're not, patient will complain. They won't come back. And also, you got to remember why you got in. You got in to help understand what they're going through and organize. You'll find that you use a lot of supplies in MRI and um, sometimes you have notes too, you know, on how to do certain protocols and 
you got to be very organized. You got to see, you know, where all your supplies, IV kit, stack kit, um, logs for the machine, um, sedation. There's a lot of things. You, you got to be very organized. So those are, what was that? That was at least, you know, my top 10 on, uh, you know, the traits to have to be a rat tech. If you don't have these traits, if if this is not you, you know, the things that I, I, I listed, this may not be for you. You may not be good in that field. You know, this you may hate it. Um, this is just my opinions. Um, I've been doing it for about six years. I'm observant and, you know, I take notes on, you know, what it's like to be a rad tech. I've been making all these videos and um, personal experience, some things I didn't know when I got in, but. I'm figuring stuff out but yeah man I mean maybe it's not for you if you know you don't have these traits or maybe you can work on some of these on the list you can get better at things but my opinion let me know what you think anyway I'm out like subscribe and all that you already know